It's, it's of course the dream of every kid. You want to be that rock star, that super player, yeah. the superstar. Did you really think, though, at that stage, that you might one day be going to a Cricket World Cup yourself? No, it was very surreal. So, 1992 was the Cricket World Cup in Australia, and then uh, 2015, so like 20. My maths is not that great right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 23. Nicholas has just mentioned. So, um, yeah, so 20, 23 years later. I mean, I had no idea. Look, I was a little kid, and I wanted to emulate some of my some of my heroes at the time. My whole vision of leaving school uh, and playing for South Africa, that whole vision was a bit skewed. You know, I thought. Um, Everything would come so quickly. We would play one year out of school. Second year, I would play in the A side for Western Province because I'm a Cape Town boy. Um, and then the next, I'll be playing for South Africa. So within three years, I thought that was the path, and like a natural progression to play for South Africa. And without realizing how hard it, you know, how hard it actually was to make it. Um, when I was 18, I had a very skewed version. So from 18 to 28, 10 years it took me. Um, so playing club cricket and playing varsity cricket and amateur cricket and then professional. You know, the whole journey was a 10-year journey um, that some people might not know that it's that hard.